Data Markings and Classification This video demonstrates how to specify custom data markings or use predefined ones, as well as apply the markings and create diagram banners in your project. These features are available beginning with version 2022X. Let's begin with the plugin installation. To do that, open the Resource Plugin Manager, install the Data Markings and Classification plugin, and restart the application. Once you have installed the plugin, you can either use predefined DoD data markings or specify custom ones. Access data markings by right clicking any element of the project. In the Elements shortcut menu, navigate to the Data Markings section and select either the Use DoD Data Markings action to use the predefined data markings or the Create action to specify your own. Once you use the project with the data markings, either the predefined or the custom ones, the data markings and the variability profiles are used. If you want to create your own data markings, select the Create action in the shortcut menu of any element. As a result, a new data marking category is created, along with its dedicated package. In the New Categories Specification window, specify the category's name, priority, and rankings values. In the Data Markings Property group, you can specify the data markings for the new category. In the Slots property group of a selected data marking, specify the necessary properties, such as the portion marking or its color. If you plan on sharing your custom created data markings with your colleagues, we recommend creating these data markings in a separate project, which can then be distributed among your team and used in the projects where the data markings would be added. Once you have finished specifying your custom data markings, you can use them in your model. Since data markings are specified in a separate project, you have to use them first. Afterwards, you can manage the corresponding data markings and their categories in the shortcut menu of a selected element. When you add a data marking to an element, the data marking is represented as a portion marking displayed as a prefix to the element name. You can also create diagram banners for diagrams containing sensitive information. Open the Diagram Shortcut menu and in the Data Markings section, select the Create action for the diagram banner. It represents the data markings added to the elements on the diagram. This concludes our video on data markings. For more information, please visit our website at the link below.